I, Barack Hussein Obama, do solemnly swear. I, Barack Hussein Obama, do solemnly swear that I will faithfully execute. That I will faithfully execute the office of President of the United States. The office of President of the United States. And will to the, the United States. And will to the, the President of the United States. And. So on occasion it comes up that, uh, that I was the mentor of uh, our president. It's only on occasion we get to interact with him. Well, an, an occasion is fine, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> best of my ability and will to the best of my ability preserve protect and defend preserve protect and defend the constitution of the united states the constitution of the united states so help you god so help me god now the um, the obama administration is all in in their uh, in their non-stop effort to retain the power to retain the power to send u.s citizens to military prisons and why do you think it is that the Obama administration is so adamant about keeping this controversial provision in place? I really, uh, I, I really uh, can't speak to the motivation. All I can say is that on civil liberties issues, this president has been even more aggressive in eroding American civil liberties than uh, George W. Bush. And it's really an, an unfortunate turn in our democracy. This has been occurring uh, since 9-11, but the Obama administration has gone full in for uh, drones. He's, they've gone full in for targeted assassinations, including of American citizens. They've gone full in for warrantless wiretapping. They, and now they've gone full in for the right to detain American citizens in military prisons, thus circumventing our democracy and our judicial system. Uh, why the president is doing this when he ought to know better as a constitutional law professor The Obama administration is openly escalating its campaign against private gun ownership and shaking up the top ranks of the military command structure. But is it also preparing to make war on the American population? According to a person identified as a former senior military official, the answer to that shocking question is yes. You can't have a police state and an armed population, so there's no doubt they're going to take the guns away. A federal judge in the U.S. has ruled Washington cannot indefinitely detain Americans suspected of having terrorist ties unless they have been found in connection with the September 11th attacks. It comes just six months after President Obama signed the National Defense Authorization Act, which would have allowed American citizens to be held without trial or charge. The judge initially ruled the act was unconstitutional last month, but the Obama administration asked her to reconsider the ruling. 
arrogance of Barack Hussein Obama is growing by leaps and bounds every day. So is his disrespect for the Constitution of our country, for the Constitution of the United States. In fact, when President Obama was a senator, he voted to reinstate the Patriot Act in 2006. According to the American Civil Liberties Union, the Patriot Act threatens our first, fourth, fifth, sixth, eighth, and fourteenth amendment.